All right, guys, Tuesday morning. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about trailers in this video. As you see, I'm all loaded up with scrap metal. We brought this one in yesterday. So this is the bigger trailer. So what's the advantages of having a trailer like this, a car trailer with wood sides, or just a car trailer in general, versus a dump trailer, versus an, uh, a utility-style trailer like this with a metal gate on the back, versus... What most of you people probably should be telling. A wise man once told me, Don't you know how to make money and work hard? You'll never be poor. Well, this is how I make my money. Sorry about that, guys. I was kind of trolling with the little trailer, but, um, yeah, guys, we're going to talk about trailers. Now, in my experience, uh, my father was a truck driver for 35 years. Both my brothers are CDL truck drivers. Um, and I've been pulling trailers now for over 27 plus years. I've had all different kinds of trailers, different sizes, different lengths, different weights. I pull them with one, two, three, 10 different kinds of trucks, all Fords. Um, only one was a diesel. But there's pros and cons to every trailer, guys. And you there's no right trailer for the job. An old man told me that years ago. He said, he said, uh, he said two things. He goes, you ever want friends? Buy a trailer. He said, um, he said, and you'll find out that you'll never have the right trailer for the job. And he, he was right, guys. It was one of the things. Like everybody's like, oh, get a dump trailer. Dump trailers are only good for one thing: dumping. Just like anything, they have their pros and their cons, their drawbacks and everything. But, you know, a tra some trailers are more versatile than others. Like this trailer in, in this uh, instance. This is a six and a half foot wide by 12 foot long trailer. Now this has the heavy duty axle. So this is a 5,000 pound trailer. It has trailer brakes and it has load range um e tires on it which are 245 75 15s which are the same that come in this trailer and they are 5000 pound dexter axle this is a 5000 pound dexter axle trailer so now i know my brakes and everything are all the same but this is a 2019 or 2020 load trail this one's 24 foot long car trailer. Now you see I have the wood sides on because obviously for some of you guys that watch my channel, I do scrap metal, so I want to be able to pack as much crap in as possible. Now I used to do this without sides and just stack all the appliances on there and just loop around it, millions of straps. It was kind of a pain in the butt. I used to cover it with a mesh tarp. Kind of a pain in the butt because when you got all kinds of random wicked stuff sticking up, it just it makes for a hell of a time trying to get a tarp on and off which I found out to be more pain in the butt than it was worth. You know, if you throw a bunch of flat stuff on top and you could strap it, it's not going anywhere. But back to this trailer. So this is a car trailer. It has hideaway ramps in the back. This is mostly just for hauling cars, pieces of equipment. And without the sides on it, you can see you have a deck height here. Now this isn't over the fender or what's called a deck over trailer, which would be taller. This is actually lower to the ground, so when you put a truck or something on it. And it's a 10,000-pound trailer. Now, this trailer, you can load pallets from the sides where you can't do a trailer like this because it has the rail on it. So this trailer is good for loading pallets. If you guys have pallets of stuff, you know, stone or things like that. But you can't put gravel on it. And it doesn't dump. Where this trailer, still, you can't put gravel on it. And it still can't dump. Dump trailers are only good for dumping. Now, the thing I don't like about trailer dump trailers is this is a 24-foot long trailer. Very long trailer. With the wood size, weighs 3,200 pounds. This trailer is 12 feet long, so it's a little less than half, and it's a little more narrower. With the wood size, it only weighs 1,300 pounds, so it's a lighter trailer. So this trailer has a decent payload capacity. I think this trailer is right around... Like 4,300 pounds is what it could hold on it. This trailer, being that it weighs 3,200 pounds, take, subtract 32 out of the 10,000 gross vehicle weight, and you can have you can have 1,000 pounds of tongue weight. So you're looking at like 
7,000 pounds max. A little over 7,500 pounds, I would say, max as you can put on this trailer. Now, to get a dump trailer that's the same size as this, to hold the same volume of material, meaning this stuff, it would have to be freaking huge. There's no way. I've seen big trailers like this. They're usually three axle and they're 21,000 pounds, which if you think that you're going to put 21,000 pounds, get this trailer up to 21,000 pounds and put it with a 150 or even a gas 250 like mine, it's not going to happen, man. You can, but you're going to be overweight. You're going to be illegal and it's going to be extremely dangerous. If something were to happen, you know, if you guys live in Kansas where it's flat, you know, these trucks will pull pretty much anything. Get it up to speed is fine. But as soon as you hit a hill, like here in Pennsylvania, it's not going to happen. So this trailer can hold a decent amount of weight for what it is. Now, a dump trailer, a dump trailer this size, empty with nothing on it. And remember, it's going to have high, you know, I'm five foot nothing. So this is three foot. The sides are going to come to about four to four and a half feet in the front. And the sides will have wood sides. You can't load anything over the top. You can't throw things like I did this. Like I usually back and load from the tongue or I throw stuff over the side. It's not that bad. But when you get heavy stuff, dump trailers are only good if you're loading it with a machine. Like if you're hauling stone, mulch, gravel, um, dirt, stuff like that. You know, stuff that, you know, you can load with the loader, dump in and just dump off and there's no unloading. That's great. But the problem is with a dump trailer... And like I said, everything has pros and cons. A dump trailer this size would weigh more than this trailer loaded with scrap on this trailer. So a dump trailer around this size would be probably about eight to 9,000 pounds with nothing on it. So you would need a diesel truck to pull it. Now, if you have a diesel truck, that's fine. But, you know, if you're loading stuff like this, like small items like brake rotors, and you can throw them in or stuff like this and you can load it in, a dump trailer would be great because you could dump it out. But for like scrap purposes, like rotors, if, if I if I put all these rotors, I can't fit them all on this trailer. But if I were to put these rotors on here, I can go to scrap and I'll magnet them out. So I don't need a dump trailer. And the other thing is, is you know, I'm going to tell you this. This trailer, when I bought it new, before COVID, was $4,300. I paid cash. So it was like $45, $46. They came down a little bit on the R and, and, and ate the tax on it. So I got like a, a decent break on this trailer. I paid $4,300 for this trailer before COVID. This trailer is not even a year old. Last September, I bought this trailer and I paid $4,300. Do you see what I'm getting at? This trailer now is about $75 to $7,200, one of these load trails. A buddy of mine bought one a year and a half ago and it was $6,800. So I'm guessing the price went up. So I paid the same for this trailer as I did this trailer. Now, you can find used dump trailers on the market, but usually they're hammered and they're messed up and they're not going to be in the best of shape. You know, there's a reason why somebody got rid of them. Yeah, you might get a good deal or whatever, but is the deal really that good? You know, if it needs brakes and this and that and, and you go to get it inspected and it needs a bunch of work, you know, I usually buy them new and then I'm the guy that sells them. You know what I mean? Like this one will be going up for sale next year and I'm probably going to go to a smaller dump trailer which i had a dump trailer and i freaking hated it but now i'm thinking about going to a smaller if i could find a smallish dump trailer that has the payload that i need but then again which leads me on to my truck you know this truck can tow i think fourteen thousand pounds but if i get a dump trailer that's too heavy to tow with this and this truck's getting old so i don't want to put that much weight on it you know and and that's the other thing you have to worry about your truck like, a, you could tow, easily tow this truck with a 1500 or a 150 size. Most trucks most trucks can tow five to 6,000 pounds, what you're going to load this up to. You know, whether it's scrap metal or your side-by-side -side or, you know, two four-wheelers or something. That's what these trailers were actually designed for. Um, Lamar, Lamar actually made this for side-by-sides. So without the wood sides, you could fit a big side-by-side. -side. Some of them are 2,000, 2,500 pounds, you know, or a small compact machine. Because as the heavy gate, like a little Kubota B series or something, or a little mini skid steer or something, you know, n not not a not a skid steer, but um, because some of them are you know seven or eight thousand pounds, but you know, um, uh, for mini equipment, or you could put you know two skags on for you guys to do landscaping and stuff. So a trailer like this would be mint. You know, you could put 
you can fit two. I fit two riders on here for scrap, so you can easily fit two riders and you have along the side for push mowers, weed backers, or whatever. And then you know this trailer you could also use for um, landscaping and stuff. See, all trailers have, you know, oh, what am I trying to say? All trailers, you know, are good investments, and they all can do multiple things. Like I can't put a car on this. But I can put a car or truck. This trailer can actually haul a full-size truck like this, even being an extended cab. And that truck's eight thousand or a little seventy, six seventy-five hundred pounds with me in it, because of the lift gate and all my tools. So if I put that on here, it would be almost overweight, but I could haul it if I could pull it with something. My uh, my my yellow one hundred and fifty over there, that's rated to tow ten thousand, so that would be putting it all the way to its max, which I would never do. But guys. Trailers are good investments. You know, you could pick them up used. Try to stay away from the cheap ones, like the carry-on trailers, the Home Depot. The Carnivon ones they sell at Home Depot aren't that bad. They're just very thin, and they have wide gaps in the planks. You know, they have they don't have metal fenders, where these ones have diamond plate fenders, as you've seen. And um, they just... Um, I've, I've seen horror stories. A lot of guys, oh, it's only $1,400. You paid $4,000. I got a commercial grade trailer that's going to last me years. Where you bought a homeowner special that might move a lawnmower a couple times. I've seen them things fail. They put the, the cheapest Chinese tires on them. The cheapest Chinese axles. All the cheapest stuff on them. Trailers. And I don't like them. I had one that I took from a house that I did a clean out for. I used it a couple, I used it two or three times, and you could sit on it and bounce, and the whole trailer would just go like this. Standing in the corner of the tongue is my test. Stand in the corner and jump and see if it twists. Like these have full A-frames. Like you see the A-frame where it says load trail? Look as I go back. See, look, it goes all the way back, and it runs all the way. This is the same beam now, all the way to the back and then underneath. And then there's another frame, this one on top, which the that's put on. And this one's the same thing. As you look, this is the tongue of the trailer. See, it goes underneath. Look what it does. It goes, wraps around. Like this one stops right here though. But, you know, more than half the trailer is all one piece. Where some of those carry-on ones They'll have a single tube that goes back and it's welded right here where this one goes. Or they'll come here and they'll stop just under here. And they'll be fully floating. They're only attached to there. So really look at some of them cheap trailers and you'll be surprised. Like I said, you get what you pay for. You know, if you're starting out and you can get it cheap, you know, try it. But for me, it's just not, it's just not something I would do. Now, this trailer... Has probably about, I'd say, 12,000 miles on it towing. I've gone through three sets of tires, and I just had the rear brakes done. We obviously broke the jack off. That was in another video. And this trailer being a year old, I actually use the small trailers more. I use them for hauling junk and, and scrap metal, as you could see. This trailer, I would estimate, has about, probably about 5,000 miles on. And I had a... Um, what was the other one? All right, so I had to rethink about that. Uh, the other trailer was a Belmont, and that was a six foot wide by 10 foot. No, this is a 14 foot. I'm sorry, this is 14. Is it 14? And the other one was a 12. Yeah, I think this is a 14. The other one was a 12. So this is a 14 footer. And that was a 3,000 pound trailer, and I had 4,500 pounds on it, and it I never bent the axle or nothing. Just good, high-quality Dexter axles, and, you know, like I said, you get what you pay for. So, um, I only ever, this is the first time I bought a Lamar. Most of my trailers have been Belmonts or Load Trail. Load Trails are made in Texas by, um, most likely illegals because they got busted for it. Lamar, I don't know where they're made. And Belmont, I know they're made in America, too. So they're not, you know, cheap crap. But yeah, guys... Now, there's some other kinds of trailers out there, you know, uh, uh, hybrid trailers that are flatbeds that dump. Uh, there's there's a couple different kinds of trailers. You know, there's equipment trailers that are made for hauling equipment that have the ramps that hide on the back. The ramps go up on the back. 
you have to find a trailer that if you're hauling mostly equipment, you'd want an equipment trailer. You know, if you're dumping material, then maybe you need a dump trailer. But dump trailers are hard to load when you're loading by hand. So remember that when you're trying to pick up these giant, like this thing's 300 pounds. I'd love to see the guy who could pick it up and throw it over the side. Because me and Joe, me and Joe are stronger than most average men and we can't pick one up over the side. I mean, I picked up 300 pound air conditioners by myself to get them in a the truck, but that's leaning it, tipping it and not picking up the whole weight. But to pick it up six foot and throw it over the side. Yeah, right, guys. That's why I back my truck up. My lift gate comes to about here. And then all I got to do is the lift gate comes to about here with the jack. We tip them and slide them right onto the trailer. And then we stack them up. This load was kind of weird because I had oddball shit. But um, yeah, guys, that's why I want to talk to you about trailers. Remember, there's pros and cons and everything. Same thing with the trucks, too. You know, some trucks could tow more. Some trucks are better, more reliable, more stable. And that's the other thing, like like this trailer on my 150, I know it's there when it's got about 4,500 pounds on with the weight of it. I know it's there. This big truck, I don't even know it's there. I don't even notice with this truck, I don't even notice when this trailer, like yesterday I had 6,100 pounds. So what was that? 90, 9,300 pounds I was towing on this trailer with the weight of the trailer and the truck. I didn't even know it was there. I hit one hill and it, it downshifted and was holding at 3,000 RPMs, one decent hill. But other than that, I mean, I was cruising 65 on the highway like nothing. Like, you know, the, the, you have to have the right trailer, but you also have the right truck too. So guys, I'm going to be heading to the scrapyard here. If you guys, anybody's, you want to see what this load was, you know, I usually do scrap metal reviews and, and junk uh, trips to the scrapyard. We're going to be tailing this load of scrap in. So I'm going to show you guys how much I get paid for this load of scrap metal. So, if you're interested, hang out to the end. All right, guys. Let's see how much weight we got on the truck with my mighty little trailer on. For a little trailer, bro, she thick. She can hold some weight. Uh, I'm pulling on the scale at 28,000 pounds. Now, I know there's a little bit of stuff in the back of my truck, guys, but that's not... For, I just pick, I picked up two water heaters and a pressure tank, and there's a snow blower and a couple bicycles, may, maybe 500 pounds, so all the other weight was on the trailer. So, she's a strong little trailer. Whew! It's an air conditioning full blast kind of day. So while I was sitting here, on the other side of the scale here, I turned around, kind of like how this truck's backing up the back up to the big pile there. Me and this guy in this box truck were waiting. And somebody went behind us and backed up to the pile while I was waiting for the truck to move. He backed up to the pile. And when, when a guy left, he just backed right in. So I told the guy, I said, yo, I said, I said, dude, I said, you didn't see us here waiting? Oh, I didn't see you guys. He's like, I'm sorry. I don't want to start any problems. I'm like, dude, I was like, you come here all the time. I said, you saw us waiting here. How could you not see the truck fully loaded? You know, just bad etiquette. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, I got things to do, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry, though. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, this ain't your first rodeo. Like, we stage up here, and when you can back up, you back up like this guy. Simple. It's not hard. But I didn't argue with the guy. It wasn't worth it. You know, but what pissed me off is he backed up there to unstrap his load, and I am waiting. Like, I would have been done 15 minutes if I didn't have to wait for him. So he didn't want to wait 15 minutes for me, so he decided to go around me. But And this guy, too. So... I just don't like shit like that. But all right, let's pull on the scale here. Got a little car for you. So we weighed on 12.8. We're weighing out 9,100 pounds. So we got weight. We'll see what it is and we'll see what we get paid. And I have a few other things I want to tell you about trailers. You know, like, you know, those big dump trailers, their, their weight cuts down on their payload. Is basically it you know you got to find a trailer that you can you know load up and you can safely tow you know with your truck you know you never want to go over your weight gross vehicle weight you never want to go over your payload or your tongue weight on your trailers but that's a whole other thing you know this is just it, it's hard when you're towing correctly all right guys so you can see how much I was towing I had 3640 pounds I remember the trailers like 1300 so we made almost $300 today minus fuel, but you can't really go by that because I used the truck yesterday to bring a load in, and um, I mean, I don't really 
worry about fuel until the end of the year. But all right, guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And just remember, be safe out there when you're towing. Don't overload things. And remember, it's not a job. It's a fucking adventure. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, Lunchbox will be here. Help me rip apart some air conditioners and get another load of stuff together. I'm going to do those propane tanks. See how much brass I can get off of those. Uh, I think I have 30 tanks or so. But all right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. This right here is what you want to be doing. This right here. What you're doing now is just a waste of your time. But this, this is what you want to be doing.